My parents kind of thinking, originally they thought I was just ignoring them, um, and I did to an extent. Um, but um, yeah, and I remember I actually remember seeing the doctor and him like he was like doing this test where he'd be like saying words under his mouth and I'd be like. Right, and, then, and so then they gave me NHS. NHS, you know, in the UK is the, the Free National Health Service. Okay, they gave me hearing aids. And um, you've been wearing since then, continuously. I have. A, I was up until about three years ago. Okay, I, I actually received like an, an, an endorsement from a private okay, hearing great. company um, called Widex. Um, they uh, they have an, uh, the audiologist I saw there was uh, a guy called Paul. He did, he lives. He works on Harley Street. Which is a really famous street in London for healthcare, and I was blown away. They gave me these. It's uh, wonderful. These hearing aids I have here. Which and the first thing I, when I came into the room is I hardly noticed you were wearing them. Yeah, you can't you can't see them. That's one of the benefits. As I've got older, I've kind of accepted it more, and I don't really mind if people can see them. Wearing I'm kind them. Of just like you know what, if you've got sure. a problem with it. Then. When I was a kid, I hated it. The Alport Syndrome Foundation was created by patients so that no one ever feels alone when dealing with this genetic kidney disease. Our mission is to improve the lives of patients like Tom. The Alport Syndrome Foundation is the leading independent, nonprofit organization in the United States serving and giving a voice to the Alport Syndrome community. Go to alportsyndrome.org for more information on how to get involved.